All right, class, so what is writing for the workplace? Uh, as I mentioned in the intro video, writing for the workplace is a business writing class. Um, it, this is called writing for managers, but it really is writing for the workplace. So we're going to be discussing emails, memos, business reports, informal proposals, uh, formal proposals, um, and not just how to write those documents um, format-wise, but your tone, your grammar, uh, your uh, you know considering your audience, all those things that if you have taken English or communications or both that we've maybe touched on at some point. So um, when we talk about writing, obviously we're talking about a form of communication. So in English, whenever you're writing a paper or writing a paper for your class, you're communicating to your audience, which generally is your instructor, or your professor. Um, but in the workplace, your audience varies. It depends on who you're talking to. So if you're writing an email to your boss, um, or if you're sending an email to a coworker or a client, you're going to hopefully use a more professional tone, a positive and neutral tone than you would if you were just sending a text message to a friend or to a family member. So um, we're gonna talk about how there's different types of tone even in your digital writing. Um, but let's talk about communication in the workplace and why this is so important. Um, one of the things that that has changed significantly over the past 20, even 10 years is that everything has become digital. And so while we've had computers for decades, um, the online business world has really changed over the last decade and it's changed what we've considered uh, global business. And um, you know, it used to be that the globalization of business, even though it was still, you know, we had uh, we've had trade with other countries for centuries. Um, the globalization of business has really changed with the internet. Um, and as we become more and more connected across the world, uh, we have more opportunity for global business. So now you don't just have to operate um, on a statewide scale or countrywide scale. Um, depending on what your business is and um, the growth rate and opportunity, you could be operating on a global level. So um, that changes significantly how we communicate because when we communicate with people in our own language and from our own country, there's a lot of things that we understand. So even though you don't want to use jargon in the workplace, there are still terms and things that in English and in the United States that we might use that may not mean the same thing to somebody else in another country. And you have to be careful um, professionally what you're saying. Um, even if you're just operating within a business in the United States, you have to be careful because not everybody comes from the same cultural background. Um, and one of the biggest hindrance in online and business communication right now is um, not considering the context of communication, not considering where your audience is coming from, what their cultural background is, because their cultural background um, determines whether they're high context or low context people, um, whether they have a specific religious background, even if they don't maybe adhere to that religion anymore, there's still some of that ingrained into the culture. And so if um, this can be even as little as, um, I've seen reviews even online where somebody was uh, complaining in a review that they didn't like how somebody talked to them. Well, it was simply because that person talked really fast because they're from New Jersey. And in from other parts of the country, depending on where you're from, you might talk faster or slower. You might um, have a draw on certain words. You might say certain words differently. You might use <laughs> different words for different things. Um, for example, uh, the whole soda pop uh, Coke uh, debate. You know, depending on where you're from, supposedly you call you know you call soda or pop or Coke 
generalized for soda, not just Coke. Um, Pepsi, whatever it is. Uh, I don't know if you've ever gone to a place where 